I'd like to give you a short overview. I think we are a little bit in, <laughs> but we get it, uh, about the persecution of homosexuals during the Nazi regime and even the following consequences of this persecution for the liberation of homosexuals in Germany. Between 1933 and 1945, there was an historical unparalleled persecution of homosexuals in our country, but the start of the state-controlled legal persecution was with the founding of the German Empire in 1871, when the Penal Code of the North German Confederation became the Penal Code of the entire German Empire. <coughs> By this change, sexual intercourse between men, and only between men, not between women, became a punishable offense. The new paragraph 175 of the now imperial penal code specified, quotation, unnatural fornication, whether between persons of the male sex or of humans with beasts, is punished with imprisonment with the further punishment of the prompt loose of the civil rights. An organized opposition against this law began with the found, uh, founding of the Scientific Humanitarian Committee through the sexual reformist Dr. Ma Magnus Hirschfeld. But this Scientific Humanitarian Committee was an organization of notables rather than a mass movement and they tried to proceed against paragraph 175 based on the thesis of innate nature of homosexuality. With Magnus Hirschfeld, as well as with August Babel, the social party chairman of, uh, socialist party chairman of that time, there have been brought two petitions into the Reichstag urging the deletion of paragraph 175, but both failed to achieve the desired uh, effect. After World War I, in the Weimar Republic, uh, there was a virtuous grassroots campaign against this paragraph 175, but much as during the time of the empire, during the Weimar Republic, the parties of the left failed to achieve the abolition of paragraph 175 because they lacked a parliamentary majority. Very fast after coming to power in 1933, the Nazis crushed the organization of homosexual right movement of the Weimar Republic. Associations were dis, uh, disbanded, meeting places and publishers shut down. In 1935, the Nazis exerp exerperated paragraph 175 by redefining the crime as a felony and thus increasing the maximum penalty from six months to five years imprisonment. Further, by removing the adjective wieder natürlich, which means translated against nature, they removed the long time tradition that the law applied only to penetrative intercourse. A criminal offense would now exist if, quotation, objectively the general sense of shame was offended and subjectively the debauched intention was present to excite sexual desire in one of the two men or a third. Beyond that, uh, beyond that, a new paragraph 175a was created, punishing qualified causes as, in German, schwere Unzucht, which means severe lewdness, with no less than one year and no more than ten years in the penitentiary. These severe lewdness included sexual relations with a subordinate or employee in a work situation, homosexual acts with men under the age of 21, and male prostitution. According to the official, uh, official rational, paragraph 175 was amended in the interest of the moral health of the folk, the German people, because, quotation, According to experience, homosexuality inclines toward black-like propagation and exerts a ruinous influence on this, uh, the circles concerned. This aggravation of the severity of paragraph 175 um, increased the number of convictions 
tenfold to about 8,000 convictions a year. Only about a half of the prosecutions resulted from police work. About 40% resulted from private accusations by non-participating observers. And about 10% were denouncements by employees or institutions. So, for example, in 1938, the Gestapo received the, follow the following anonymous letter. Quotation. We, a large part of the artist's block of Berniewick, ask you urgently to observe Mr. B living with Mrs. F as a subtenant who has remarkable daily visits from young men. This must not continue. We ask you cordially to give the matter further observations. In contradistinction to normal police, the Gestapo was authorized to take men into preventive detention of arbitrary du duration without an accusation. This was often the fate of so-called repeat offenders. At the end of their sentence, they were not freed but sent to ad uh, additional re-education in a concentration camp. Only about 40% of these pink triangle prisoners, whose numbers amounted about uh, 20,000, survived the camp. Some of them, uh, after the release, and it's unbelievable, unbelievable, but it's true, survived the, uh, um, after uh, they survived the camp and freed by the Allied forces, were placed back into prison because they had not yet finished court mandated terms of imprisonment for homosexual acts. Between 1900, uh, 1935 and 1945, uh, the Nazi judicial system condemned around 80,000 men for homosexual acts. After 1949, the Federal Republic did not continue the comparatively liberal traditions of the Weimar Republic in its policy, uh, policy towards homosexuality. The social policy of the Adenauer area was characterized by near fundamentalist, fundamentalist Christian prudery. Homosexuals were considered to be a danger to the family, society, and the state. The Nazi version of paragraph 175 remained in force, unchanged until 1969. The, the law was also ruthlessly applied. The federal courts condemned another 50,000 men for unnatural sex acts during this period. For this reason, the German historian Hans-Joachim Schöps committed bitterly in 1963 quotation, for homosexuals, the Third Reich is not yet ended. Only in 1969, after the Social Democratic Party of Germany ended the federal government for the first time, was homosexuality between adults decriminalized. The age of consent, however, remained higher than that for heterosexuals. This discriminatory special provision for homosexuality was not scraped until 1994. Since then, paragraph 175 has been repealed. Attempts to restore the reputation of the victims of paragraph 175 did not receive majority support in Parliament for many years. Only in 2002, uh, 2002 did uh, the Bundestag repeal the sentences with the Nazi imposed on the homosexuals. The Parliament also explicitly apologized for homosexuals, citizens uh, for the persecutions in the Federal Republic. The Nazis had crushed the homosexual rights movement. After the war, the few surviving activists could not longer continue the early traditions. Attempts to organize themselves in a lasting fashion failed. The fact that homosexuality was still a criminal offense in Germany was a major contributing factor. Developments in Germany thus continued to lag behind Western and Northern Europe in Scandinavia and in Netherlands, national gay organization sprang up after the Second World War. When the Stonewall generation started to emerge in the early 70s, a productive relationship developed between the trad 